Hi everyone, I'm putting my glove on. Welcome to morning coffee break. It's actually a nice day out here. It's a little cool though. Let's look at everybody from here. It's still out here. It just grows real slow when it's cold. All right. Beautiful, if you can see the sky behind me. Not a cloud in the sky. Oh, I'd take me a little brisk walk here. Get the juices flowing. My hip's not, not really hurting this morning, amazingly. I'm not putting the uh, tomatoes out yet. I'm gonna wait till it gets to be at least 40 degrees. I sent them out here. Of course, yesterday I think it was a little less than that when I first put them out, but then it warmed up some. And the asphalt, I've noticed, helps uh, <clears throat> because the asphalt will heat up from the sun. And I've I set that baking pan on the asphalt, it's, it'll get some heat from it. Trying to see if I see any birds. No hawks. I've seen them around though, but it's like when we were went somewhere, you know. Uh, I saw them. Saw several the other day. I even saw them. Uh, of course, they may be different ones, but I saw like four. I counted five hawks when uh, we were sitting in the parking lot. The last time Logan went to his therapy, uh, there was five of them flying around. That's quite a few. But that may be a whole different group of them, you know, than here. Because that's not very close, but they can fly, you know. It doesn't take them long to get anywhere uh, flying. Logan hasn't been able to go to his therapy this past week or this week because uh, he's had a little bit of a cold and we don't want anybody to catch it if it, if it is something that you could catch. But he's doing some better now, so he should be able to go back Monday. I go Tuesday to my, my dentist, uh, finally called. Uh, FedEx couldn't didn't deliver my my lower partial they couldn't find it so finally they found it I don't know why they want to fit me for it when they don't even have the top one ready but that's what they want to do so I'll go in and, and then the lady acted like she acted like I didn't even uh, uh, like they hadn't taken the uh, mold you know for the the top and i said yes ma'am they did and she said well i'll have to check on that i said listen i said i know i know they did because they put the mold on my teeth both upper and lower they they did the mold oh well i'll just he'll have to check into it because they wanted to, she wanted to already make me another appointment to have another mold done they're just dipping into my insurance you know I mean, I'm not going to, if I can help it, I'm not going to let them. Now they'll probably say they lost it, you know, and have to do it again or something. I wouldn't doubt it. But I get mad about stuff like that. I'm not saying that's going to happen, but it's possible. So eventually I'll have my partials, upper and lowers, and I'm going to be so happy. So I really need them because I have to chew my food up really good with Crohn's disease and with my problems. And uh, I can't do it very good when you just mainly have front teeth. That's about all I got. And all the medicines that I've had to take for Crohn's and stuff is what messed up my teeth. 
yep. <laughs> Made them soft. And the enamel, messed the enamel up. All right. I did an extra one today. Walked one extra time. So let's go inside now and drink some coffee. Alrighty then. Sun coming through here, it feels warmer too. In the kitchen, when the sun comes through there. I got all my little bobbleheads still up there. I couldn't, I couldn't resist leaving them all up. The ones from Christmas and I've got some from Valentine's of course. Kitty likes watching them. Little bobbleheads. <laughs> All right, today's Saturday, January 23rd. Currently, it feels warmer than this. I don't know if this is right or not. It says 33. The high today is going to be 44. No precipitation. Humidity is the lowest I've seen it. Uh, I don't remember it being this low, 33%. I've never seen it that low, maybe since last winter or something. Not even then, really. Anyway, that's good. Wind is at 6 miles per hour. Air quality is 33. That's good. All right. Today's thumbnail is Subway. Um, I had some coupons, and I looked through them, and there was one for buy one, get buy one sub, get one free. So we did that, and that turned out cheap. I think it was $7.98 is all for two of them. That's an awesome deal. Uh, still got half of one left for lunch today. Uh, and then those fries, or those fries I got from Sam's Club, they're the Orida. Um, I just, I don't know what it says besides maybe crinkle cut fries or something on it. But they're really, really, really good. They're close. Y'all have heard me talk about Buck Deli's French fries being the best in town. These are close really close now i'm sure buck fries there is in oil but we bake ours and to be baked they're some of the best i've had and i'm gonna keep getting them it's an eight pound bag at sam's club but it was only like 6.98 or something like that uh, so that's a lot of fries and they're really good so i hate it like we got some from dollar tree joy got some uh some of their uh steak fries don't get those y'all you you might like them, but they're really just there's they're really more skin than anything. I mean, they're not like a steak fry. They're they're small little pieces and just odds and ends. It's the stuff looks like the stuff that's left over from the steak fries they make that are nice. Maybe they have some kind of contraption where the little pieces fall through, probably, and uh, then they sell those to Dollar Tree, I guess. But. Mm -mm. If y'all remember me talking about them when we tried them, they just weren't any good. I'd rather pay a little bit more and get these here from Orida. Uh, I'm sure Orida would even have a better steak fry, too. But I love that crinkle cut. So that's, I couldn't resist using that for the thumbnail. Um, if you missed last night, I did uh, take a look at uh, my, the clubs, the, the Facebook groups. Uh, Chef Mike's Homemade Cooking Club. Uh, gardening with friends and color me happy club and uh, it was a really good show there's so many good posts on all these um not, like i've said before not as much as going on right now in the gardening with friends but we hang in there and send the pictures of things we're doing indoors and stuff uh, but uh well, that'll crank up more more in the spring but um check out any of them and send a, a request to, to join and we'll get you in. So just do a search for what I said, the Chef Mike's Homemade Cooking Club and Gardening with Friends and Color Me Happy Club. So we always have a, a good time. There's so many great people in there. Everybody's just awesome. Um, I try to comment on some, but I'm so busy. And I'm, I have some I do a lot of comments, you know, on my channel. But I try to, I do, if I hit the heart, you can guarantee you that I've looked at it. I hit, you know, like. Uh, the hearts on the others, on the comments. But if I hit the like, you know, I've checked it out. And I try to say stuff, but I'm just really, a, I'm, I'm so busy doing everything else I do besides stuff with this that I don't have time for much anymore. 
but I do like looking at all of them. Okay. Okay, I started work on uh, the jokes for Kitty's Corner yesterday, and I got two of them, and uh, then things started happening, different things, you know, and I didn't ever get back to it. And uh, so I'll, I'll, if nothing changes or anything, I'll work on that some more today and hopefully have it, have it ready because I need to do that. Then we've got 18 questions for Ask My Tablet. Uh, I usually get 20. I'll probably get a few. I haven't been through the comments yet. Uh, so we'll do, uh, be able to do Ask My Tablet. Let's see. You know what? I'm trying to think of what's... Okay, we were supposed to have the beef stew left over last night, and we were going to make... Um... Oh, gosh. Oh, these green beans. We need to fix these. Are they still okay? They still look fine. They look good. We're going to fix those with some... Uh... Where's these little... Hold on a second. I'll show you. These. There's, you know, there is potatoes already in the beef stew, but there's not a whole lot of the vegetables left. I just got mainly meat and stuff. So we're going to fix these green beans and these little petite medley of different colors and stuff. You know, purple, and I guess that's the gold ones like different kinds. So those will be good together. I'll probably throw some, one of those little packs of country ham in there too. And with the beans. So for seasoning. But uh, I'm going to have that and I, don't, I think that'll probably be it. Maybe we'll have a either cornbread or rolls. And that reminds me, I need to write this down. I, I, I talked about it yesterday. I need Jiffy Honey cornbread mix mix yep I need some of that because that stuff is good I think I only got one or two left either we're going to have I'd like to have cornbread but if they don't want cornbread we'll have some yeast rolls with it with the beef stew and stuff so that's the plan on what's for dinner what else for dinner? Beef stew. It was really good. Um, I, I got some barbecue left, but I didn't, you know, I didn't only use half of it. And it was never, it was refrigerated. It wasn't frozen yet. So I froze half of that for another time. So. Okay. Now, back to our question of the day all right today's question going along with the covid theme there's so many questions that can be asked about it and you know this is a new year and everything like that and we know how last year went but this is the question with covid19 still around will you be going anywhere for vacation this year of course, we haven't been able to go on a vacation, you know, at least, let's see, 25, probably 20, at least 20 years or more, 20 to 25 years. We've never been anywhere. But most of the reason is because of my health, you know, and stuff. And of course, Logan can't in the past year or so couple well a couple years almost now he hadn't been able to get around and stuff either but usually i mean i've had always had this uh, crohn's real bad and uh just couldn't even think about going anywhere even if we could afford it which we really couldn't afford it either but you know you could go somewhere closer by just to get away or something but um you know we just really i couldn't do it you know, so I'd love to have been, been able to visit my daughter, uh, you know, 
uh, we're in Ohio, we're in Tennessee, uh, but we can't do that. You know, still yet, I would have, I, I could maybe do more now, but now who's going to go out? I mean, I don't know if I, we would, I don't even know if we would go if we could. That's a good question for me too to think about. So with COVID-19 still around, will you be going anywhere for vacation this year? And you know what? I, you got to think, how does this impact all these theme parks and stuff? I don't see how they could keep going. How would you, uh, from what I understand, isn't Disney open? I think Disney World or whatever open, Disneyland. But how would you stay six foot apart from people at a place like that? Can you imagine standing in line, how bad it already is for the rides at Disney? Can you imagine standing in line six foot apart, how long the line would be? It'd probably be backed up to your, you could probably get out of your car in the parking lot and get in line for a ride. I'm just kidding, but I'm just saying. All right, everybody, I think that's going to be it for today. For morning coffee break. Drink your coffee. I have to wrangle up some breakfast. All right, everybody. Thanks a lot for watching. Please press that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And hit that. So you get all my videos as soon as they come out. And share, share, share with everyone. Thank you very much. I'll see y'all later on doing something. I promise. God bless.